You know what I was thinking? Unless you won the lottery, quitting your job is usually a sign that something isn't going right. Being a gig musician is actually a really cool job. There's no doubt about it. I mean, you get to play music, you know, you get complimented for it with claps and or tips. You get a free meal, ideally. You get to meet great new people. Oh, and you get paid on top of all that. What could make a gig so bad to the point that you need to quit it? So I belong to a Facebook group is for musicians, basically musicians in my area. And we get to talk to each other about our experiences at venues and gigs. And it's a great way to look after each other. But basically I saw this post of someone talking about their gig and how much they hate it. This person was saying, I can't play at this gig anymore. I'm done with it. I could say this is like the worst feeling for a working musician, having to be mad or angry every time you think about going to certain venue or place. And one of the commenters on this post said something like, you know what, you should quit bitching about, pardon my language, about playing at that venue and you should be happy that you have the gig. I totally disagree with that. As a self-employed, as a musician, you get to choose who you work for and where you play. If you are a musician that feels like that is your only venue where you can play, that is your only choice, you either suck or you live in a town that is very limited of gigs and maybe you should consider moving if that's all you do, if that's your main income. I am very fortunate that I live in a city, it's called Sarasota, that offers a lot of places where you can play. The main reason why someone like me who has a dream job would quit a gig is how you get treated by manager or venue owners. If somebody is treating me badly or poorly, I don't have to play there. When I started playing the guitar, I was 12 years old. I got so passionate about guitar and I never, never said to myself, wow, this can be such a good source of money. Never did I think of money. It was until I was 17 when I realized that I had enough repertoire where I could actually make it a job. So don't forget the main reason why you play. Throughout my years living in this area, I have made friends. I've gotten very good advice from just talking to my friends. One of them, a musician who I actually I wanted to invite to be on this video, but he's unavailable. But he said something to me that kind of stayed with me. He said, if you really want a venue to change something for you and they want, then you do the change by moving to another gig. If you are truly unhappy, move on. Maybe you're not a musician and you're watching this video and you wanna know what is it that bothers you so much that a venue owner or manager could do. I even wrote it down actually. Telling us to turn the music down over and over. Micromanagers like telling us that we're taking too long of a break or too many breaks when we're not. Trying to bring our price down even when it's already at the same price that it was 10 years ago. Refusing to give a meal either for free or a discounted price. Canceling you the same day or with, without enough notice. Sitting people at the stage and making you wait every time just to set up. Telling you you gotta park super far away even when they know you got a bunch of stuff you gotta bring in. Making you chase them around just so they can give you the check. Believe it or not, there are some managers and venue owners who will actually do a lot of these things on the same night. Bunch of these things combined. You don't really need to put up with this stuff because there should be other options. If you don't have any other options, maybe you should change professions. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Before you quit a gig, try to talk it out. And when you talk about it, Try to be calm. If you have been mistreated for a while at a gig and you finally voice your concern, it's very easy, very easy to get all fired up, you know, to get all kind of agitated and the adrenaline rush and all that. So my advice to you is try to control it adult to adult, face to face, calmly, politely, professionally. You will get the stubborn honor. Arr, you're not gonna tell me what to do. That's why there is a perfect opportunity for you to find new horizons. I have another friend who was very bothered at a place and he was able to talk to the owner and things changed for him. Turn around 180 degrees, I was gonna say 360, but that would have taken him to the same place. He got the respect he was looking for. And that is my 
advice, if you wanna call it advice, I don't know, I've just been doing this for a long time and this is what I, I can share with you from personal experience and I hope it is helpful to you if you're a musician. If you're not a musician, I hope you're entertained by this because you know, I'm an entertainer, that's what I do. Be good, subscribe if you want more videos like this. Goodbye.